Hello again, it's Tubal Kane from Illinois. Today I want to give you a little lesson on how to drill cross holes. Now what I mean by cross holes are holes that are drilled in round stock and uh, uh, such as for this vise handle or uh, C-clamp screw. There's another vise, but that's what we call a cross hole. And those are kind of difficult to, to drill because often your work goes off center like on, in this picture or in this uh, sample that I drilled in a, a wooden dowel but this is what's usually going to happen and the more inexperienced you are the more likely that is to happen and it certainly was a problem when I was teaching a high school machine shop uh, many years ago so here's a few tips on how to uh, avoid drilling offset cross holes the amount of material that high school kids wasted by misdrilling was uh, uh, astounding so I came up with uh, several jigs, such as what you see here, and I even had them color-coded, so you'd say, use the red jig for this project or the green jig. But it was nothing more than a piece of square stock with a hole drilled a lengthwise in it, and we got a hardened drill bushing in place in various sizes, and each one of these are a different size stock for a different project. And you could just uh, have them insert their project into there, the screw or whatever it was, and tighten it down with a set screw and then put this in a drill press vise and then like that's a quarter inch bit and uh, they would drill straight through it and be assured of a, uh, a good hole. I had made, uh, and those were student proof. Here's some other smaller ones I made for home use in my models and this one held quarter inch stock and allowed me to drill a sixteenth inch hole. These weren't hardened but uh, you're just making a few parts and they work just fine. Otherwise that hole will uh, wallow out on you eventually. But uh, not to worry for minor problems. Sometimes it's worth it to take the time to make something like that. If you've got a lot of, of time invested in a, uh, a particular part, you hate to spoil it at the last minute. This is a very expensive drill jig and it uh, they came in two sizes this is the smaller of the two and they're made by Heinrich the same company that makes those other marvelous uh, drill press vices that are cam lock and here's how they work uh, the top part can uh, raise or lower and then be tightened with this uh, set screw here and uh, there's a v-block here and you would place your stock in there this is one inch stock there's even a stop that comes with this so that you can have uh, re repeatability and then you uh, push down on the cam lock and we have a hardened drill bushing here and that particular one is a uh, 3 sixteenths and you drill right through it that'll center you perfectly. The bushing is going to be taken out and replaced. There's different sizes. I got an extra one hanging here but they make these in any size imaginable and these are hardened. So this is really a nice device. I know you won't have one of those at home, but I'm just showing it to you. I'm not too fond of this method, but I'll show it anyway. And you see this as a machine shop tip in a lot of magazines and, and books. But this is half inch stock. And if we were going to drill a cross hole on that, we would just lay that in the, in the vise. And then make yourself a little uh, bushing. Same diameter stock. This is going to be a quarter inch hole. And... Uh, that needs to be drilled on the lathe though and just lay that on top of the work tighten your vise down and you can drill drill that quarter inch now I'm not crazy about this because uh, the vices are, are this is a cheap vise and the, the jaw is kind of wobbly so either one piece or the other is held tightly and the other one is kind of loose also you must raise this up put some waste stock under there so you don't drill into your uh, vise. If you would use this little V-block portion or this V portion here, uh, that would render this uh, uh, little method uh, inoperable. So you would have to stay down at the bottom or else drill through the center of the vise where you have a uh, open spot and you won't damage the vise. It's one of my pet peeves is when people drill into vices or drill press tables and it happens all the time. 
Now if you're doing it pre-hand in the bench vise, of course you would center punch it and uh, attempt to drill it straight, but good luck. It uh, very rarely goes straight, but you can also take a file and uh, raise this up out of the vise just a little bit and uh, hit it with a file and that will give you pretty much the top of it. Then you could center punch it. Uh, same thing uh, if you're doing it in the drill press vise. And what you notice sometimes is that the drill bit, or all the time really, is the drill bit will skate off to the side and uh, find its own center. And if you have not drilled very far into it, you can sometimes correct it by rotating the stock slightly and recentering it. Uh, not a great method, but with enough experience, I think you'll find that to be moderately successful. Uh, there's another little gadget that I'm not too crazy about, and uh, if we had this in the drill press or in a bench vise, we've got a little uh, center punching jig here. It's a built-in center punch. I don't know if that's showing up or not. And you could put that on your work, and you would attempt to get it level, and then strike it. Not a very good method. Do not like this. I don't even know where I got it. It's going in the garbage can right now. We're over on the Bridgeport Mill now. And, uh, of course, if you've got a milling machine, all your problems go away. And there's two different ways of doing it. One is to, uh, this is a rather large piece, but hang it out of the vise a little bit farther and use your center finder. And you can quickly find the true center, you know, to a thousandth of an inch of any piece of round stock. That takes several minutes to do, and if you don't have the right equipment, and that's the preferred method, you don't have the right equipment, another way of doing it is to just uh, take ever, put some bluing on the work and take ever such a light cut, and uh, wherever you have cleaned it up, that is going to be the very center of the work. Uh, then you could uh, move the vise out of the way, center punch it on that little flat spot, and I would always start with a center drill in the milling machine and then uh, go ahead and start to drill it. And th that will work real good because nothing moves when you have it clamped down in, in the milling machine. It's, uh, but I understand that a lot of people do not have one. I'm surprised that you don't buy one, but uh, some people would prefer to have a fancy car over a nice bridge port. We all have different values, I suppose. I hope that these little tips on cross drilling have been helpful. This is Tubal Kane signing out saying so long for now.